In this video, we'll be taking a look at a Thede Palace booster box. This was officially the last set that uh, Decipher released. Uh, was in 2001, December, I believe. Focused on mostly uh, Naboo at the end of Episode 1. A lot of good cards in this set. Darth Maul with lightsaber, Qui-Gon with lightsaber, Queen Amidala. It was probably the third version of Queen Amidala, but definitely the one that was designed for controlling the throne room which was a fun objective. Maybe we'll see that in here. Uh, I'm going to open a pack or two of this one. The reason to say I say a pack or two is I want to see if we can get ourselves a halfway decent card here. So um, let's open it up and find out what's inside. All right. A lot of plastic wrap on these. Gonna go off frame for a bit to make sure I don't uh, damage the box. Okay, it's fairly smooth. We'll open it up here. A lot of the booster boxes had um, the earlier versions had rules inserts on top. In the Episode 1 sets, they actually made rules cards that were inserted into the packs. I believe they're basically the same rarity as Uncommons, but I'm not sure about that. So, there's 30 packs in here. We'll start by opening one and see where that gets us. Uh, this one feels lucky. Why not? It's sticking out just a bit more of the other ones. And I'll move the box up to give us more room. All right, that's a good start. So the objective cards are uncommon. Invasion is one of my favorite objectives to play. They have a pretty good battle droid version and a destroyer droid version, and I've made decks for both, and it's a lot of fun. So an objective card, double-sided card these are. Once you complete the conditions on the front, you flip it over, and you get the bonuses on the back. And lots of times you can flip back and forth multiple times in the game. Alright, good bonus for N1 Starfighters. That's actually not the rare. That's Captain Tarpals' Electropole. These were kind of cool because you throw them, you use them as a weapon in battle. They weren't that great, but they had high destinies and you'd recycle them back into your deck. And yeah, make some power minus three, so not terrible. Okay, that's a pretty good uncommon to get. Boss Nass's Chambers. So this is... Uh, often called a Twix in the game. You get this card out, and uh, gives you two icons to generate more force, more income for yourself, and your doesn't give your opponent any. Plus, the card that pulls it is a pretty good card. Wisa got a Grand Army, the name of it is. A lot of Gungan language uh, cards in this set. I believe in Thede the Rares in the middle often, so we'll see if it might be the next card. It's a red card. Master Destroyer. So that's actually a pretty decent rare card to get. Very good for destroyed red decks. So not a top rare like Queen Amidala or Jar Jar or um, Qui-Gon, but one that I would call in the mid-range. So it's one I sell as a single in my store, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm opening this box, is I ran out of feed boosters, so I needed to open up a box to sell more boosters because those have been selling quite a bit lately. But let's see what else is in here. Oh, wow. Armored attack tank. So this is a pre pretty amazing pack in terms of getting... a. Uh, Probably the two best uncommons. Uh, Boss Nass's Chambers, and it's not bad to get an objective either. The AAT, and uh, this is a card almost $10 on its own. So, adds two Battle Destiny when piloted at the same site as a Battle Droid. That includes if a Battle Droid is piloting it. So, adding two Battle Destiny, plus it's got some pretty good text in its own, and the weapons on it are pretty cool. Activate the Droids. Be nice to see this one played more. But, eh, yeah, allows you to activate force when you initiate battle. This is not good. No one really tries to blow away the flagship. But making somebody hyperspeed zero can be pretty ugly on occasion. The hallway, dark side, I believe. And an infantry battle droid. So, that was a pretty good pack. Uh, and it'd be tough to beat that one in terms of the averages, so I think I'll uh, conclude this video here. But thanks for watching. We got some pretty good cards, two great uncommons, a decent rare, and I guess a third pretty good uncommon. 
Thanks for watching.